This is Our Town. Bob Snedden, you're listening to Coast Radio 106.9 FM, KCST. Mike Stennett and Steve Templin, uh, Oregon Department of Transportation. The project is beginning. It's already underway in Old Town on the St. Slow River Bridge. And Steve Templin, let's talk about what's happening on the shore side right now, because that's where the bulk of the work is starting. Uh, we've got a fairly large scale job to protect the bridge to uh, make sure that it can last another, you know, many, many years into the future. And uh, what we're doing is we're doing what we call a cathodic protection of the bridge and uh, protects it against corrosion from the environment. So, Steve, can you describe the cathodic process for me? I mean, what does that entail? Sure, it's kind of a three step process. We're going to be building a, a false work, a scaffolding around the bridge to contain the work. Uh, and then we go through and we uh, essentially blast the existing concrete. Uh, we find bad areas of concrete, bad areas of rebar. Um, we'll go through and we'll repair all that, that area. Um, and once we do the concrete uh, repairs, then we'll, we'll spray a, a zinc coating on the bridge. And, and for those of you on the coast who have aluminum boats, it's kind of the same thing. It's, uh, it's like your pucks on a boat. It keeps the, it keeps the corrosion on the outside rather than on the inside of the bridge. You were, you guys were down in Florence last month, you had a, a, a meeting with folks who have been tracking this project because it's going to have an impact. I mean, first of all, what's, what's the impact going to be on traffic for the next three and a half years? We will have some impacts to Bay Street, um, some one-way traffic and some of the pinch points while they're building in containment over the street. But our goal is to be done with that well before spring when the tourist season heats back up yeah. so, we, so we're not impacting the, the community. The, uh, I think what most residents are going to see on the way north or south of the bridge is over the next, uh, over during the course of the project, we'll also be replacing the bridge rail. A lot of people can notice that the bridge rail is in pretty bad shape up there, and it also doesn't meet current crash standards. So this is kind of the, the uh, it'll look very, very similar to what's there. I mean, it kind of embodies the spirit of what McCullough did with the original bridge, but it's, it, it upgrades some of the structural capability of the rail. Uh, lane restrictions coming and going. Yeah, there'll be some there'll be some flagging uh, here and there, uh, short lane closures. Mike, let's talk about noise. Uh, what are some of the things that the, you're working with the contractor on to, to keep noise down? For the most part, we're just going to try to direct all the noise away from town. It shouldn't be all that horrible. It's there, and you'll yeah. notice it, but. It's not like you're gonna be hearing someone beating on metal all yeah. night long or something like that. Uh, your agency, Oregon Department of Transportation, released a, 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 a report saying that a lot of bridges in Oregon need upgrade, and especially seismic upgrade. Um, is, is this project going to address any seismic concerns in case of the big earthquake? We are gonna be applying some cables or some seismic restraints, and yeah. that'll pretty much ensure that well, we can't guarantee anything yeah. if it's depending on the size of the earthquake, but it'll help to ensure that the bridge won't collapse entirely. So it'll kind of tie the bridge together uh, with with uh, cables. So it's not earthquake proofing, but it's definitely going to be uh, more seismically sound than what it is now. Absolutely, right? yeah. yeah. So it'll tie it together so you won't have a cataclysmic failure. Yeah. Um, so Oregon Park Transportation got a lot of stuff going on in the Florence area. Uh, uh, Steve Templin, uh, project manager, assistant project manager, uh, Mike Stanett, thank you guys for coming in today.